Shalom. This is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Please visit our website, jewishideas.org, for more information about an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. We received a question from a gentleman who is in a small town, and he doesn't have an Orthodox rabbi there who is congenial to him, who he feels he can trust and rely upon. So he asked the following question. We're told in the Pirkei Avot, Rav, make yourself a rabbi. And that's good advice. One should have a rabbi that one can rely upon, can turn to for guidance. However, the question is, what happens if the local rabbi doesn't fit your needs? The local rabbi is right wing, left wing, middle wing, whatever it is, but someone that you don't feel that you can identify with. What are you supposed to do about choosing an orthodox rabbi? First of all, let's go to the basic ground rules. The ground rules are essentially that each person no matter how learned or, learned or not learned, should have at least one person that they can turn to for advice, for guidance, for halachic insight. But that person should be someone that they trust, someone that they choose on their own, not someone imposed upon them. Now, if you belong to a synagogue where you have such a rabbi, well, you're fortunate, and that's wonderful. If you live in a community where you have choices of rabbis that you can turn to, that's also very good. You can find someone who is appropriate for your own needs. But if you're in a situation where you feel alone, you feel that there is no one who understands, no one you can turn to, then it's important to realize that there are other mediums to find such rabbis uh, through the internet, through other kinds of network uh, availabilities. You don't need to rely only on the rabbi of your particular community. It's important not to dismiss the rabbi of your community because the rabbi can be a very important resource. But it's also important to know what authority means. Some people think, they need a rabbi who tells them this is right, this is wrong, and do exactly what I tell you. This is the wrong model. What we're looking for is somebody not who's authoritarian, but someone with genuine authority. Authority comes from a Latin word, Latin root, which means someone who helps us to grow, someone who helps us to develop ourselves. And that's what we need in a rabbi, someone who understands our needs, someone who cares about us, someone who's in touch with our own lives and our own conflicts and our own issues, and someone who can sensitively and sympathetically understand who we are, what we are, and what we're looking for in our spiritual guidance. We don't want a rabbi to tell us, you must do this, you must not do that. We want a rabbi to explain to us what makes sense, what are, what are our options. And we, do never, we never want to surrender our own autonomy. When you go to a medical doctor, you're a general practitioner, uh, you get an examination, you get checked out, and the doctor may give you advice this way or that way. But you don't necessarily assume that whatever the doctor tells you, you must do. It's the best educated guess of that doctor. If you have a real issue, you ask the doctor to refer you to a specialist, and a good doctor will know other specialists in other fields who can give you more specific guidance. Same thing with a rabbi. You need a rabbi that you can trust and ask questions to who's learned it enough who is sensitive enough, who can deal with your basic everyday questions. But you also need a rabbi who is wise enough to know when he's not able to answer questions. There are specialties, and therefore that rabbi will know who to turn to if there are specific questions. Sometimes people say, well, there are gadolim, and these gadolim know the answers to everything. This is false. No gadol, no matter how great, if he knows the Talmud in and out by heart, can know everything. They will not know all the questions of medical technology involved in life and death situations. They will not know all the questions of regular technology that are relevant to Shabbat. They will not know many things about psychology and human needs based on experience in the field. They will not know everything about business because they don't necessarily deal with business. Just because a person has a label gadol does not mean the person knows how to answer your questions. So when I go back to this individual who asked the question to me in the first place, Asayi the Harav means find that rabbi, either in person, which is the best way to have a relationship with the rabbi, and if you can't find the rabbi in person who will be able to meet with you and talk with you personally, then find that rabbi via email, via internet, via, via other recommendations from other people whom you trust. And then once you establish this trusting relationship with the rabbi, that rabbi will be wise enough to know how to guide you and how to refer you to people who know better than he on certain questions that come up or he will be able to find those people himself to answer your questions and give you guidance. But in all cases, never surrender your autonomy. Always remember, you yourself are responsible for your own life. No rabbi, no gadol, no posseik can answer those questions for you. 
only you can answer yourself. And therefore, when I, myself, in my own personal experience, when I have turned to great rabbis for advice and guidance, I've never asked them for a psak. I always ask them for advice, for guidance. And that way, it leaves me the freedom and the option to decide whether or not to follow that. I think that's good advice for all Jews. Ask for advice, ask for guidance, ask for guidelines, but ultimately you are responsible for your own life and for your own soul. Thanks very much for paying, uh, for tuning in to us, uh, tuning into this uh, discussion. Uh, we welcome your questions. You can send them on our YouTube channel or you can send them to me at mdangel at jewishideas.org. We wish you all the best. Shalom, shalom, and shalom all Yisrael.